your social life, live streaming just got a whole lot more popular, which means figuring out the do's and don'ts of being on camera. Our own video producer, Chris Brennan, shares six common live streaming mistakes and quick tips on how to avoid them. The first mistake is looking at yourself. It may be tempting, but try not to look at yourself or other participants during the broadcast. Make sure you look at the lens of your camera, computer screen, or your phone. This will help make you look more professional. The second mistake is poor lighting. A popular pitfall is being underlit or overlit during a broadcast. Avoid being in a dark room with a single light source, such as a computer screen. We recommend setting up your camera in front of a well-lit window. This is a good option to help light your face if you don't have access to a ring light or an alternative light source. The third mistake is ignoring your audio quality. No live stream can engage the audience without good audio. Many broadcasters make the mistake of being too close or too far away from the microphone, resulting in low quality audio. To prevent this from happening, make sure you test your audio in advance of your broadcast. Make sure you're in the right position where your audio is not clipping or too low. If you're relying on your computer microphone, the same rules apply. The fourth mistake is picking a bad location. When recording, avoid crowded areas. Go to a separate location or a room and close the door. Or try and find an area where there's not an echo. If you're living with roommates or family members, let them know in advance that your broadcast is going live. The fifth mistake is not interacting with your audience. Not engaging with your audience is a missed opportunity. Make sure when your broadcast is live, you're interacting with your audience by asking questions, creating calls to action, or conducting polls. The sixth mistake is not using visuals during your broadcast. To avoid a live stream of talking heads, we recommend using B-roll, graphics such as lower thirds or calls to action, or other imagery to overlay on top of your footage. Graphics will help make sure your video production looks polished and professional. And voila, that's a wrap folks. Got tips of your own? Share them in the comments.